Hey there, I'm Adrian Lindine. I'm one of the CEO and co-founders of Beach Boss Influencers. And on today's training, I'm gonna share with you how to turn leads into buyers using social media. So how many of you are, you know, trying to build your business online and you know, you you're, you might be doing everything you were told, right? Just post and tell everybody all about your stuff and people will come, right? Well, what we found here uh, with the beaches here at Beach Boss Influencers uh, and what we've learned in our own personal journey is that just approach uh, was is kind of old school and outdated, right? Like anything, everything evolves, okay? So that might have worked, okay, several years ago, but those uh, strategies no longer work for a large majority of entrepreneurs uh, who are trying to build their businesses on social media, okay? And this is what we found, right? Uh, we've tested this, okay? Uh, us, ourselves, me included, I did the old school for years on social media. Got very little traction, okay? Uh, my traction was actually not on social media. It was, you know, in-person stuff. And I don't know about you, but that actually sucked up more time for me than it gave me any sort of freedom. I lost time with my family, gave what little time I already had because uh, at the time I was a high school uh, coach and assistant principal and teacher. Um, but I knew there had to be other ways, right? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, so I went online and I started to using and implementing influence marketing, okay? Um, in fact, I didn't just go online. I invested a lot of money to learn uh, this approach, right? To learn this strategy. And I took that strategy. We took that strategy here at Beach Boss. And we figured out how to get the most traction in your business, okay? And it first starts off with, right? You want to know how you can turn leads into buyers, how you can generate leads, right? Generate those leads, turn them into customers and new team members, uh, for your business and watch your business grow, the first step, the first thing that you got to do is you have to brand yourself. Now, when I was getting started, I had no idea what this meant. Okay. It did not, I had zero clarity on it. I didn't know what it meant. I thought I had to come up with some, you know, catchy hashtag and put it down below my posts while I still did all the spammy salesy tactics. Okay. So what branding yourself means is it means stop being a salesman on social media, okay? Stop being a salesman and a running billboard for your company, okay? That means don't brand your company. You've got to brand yourself, okay? And when, when you do that, you're going to find that you attract more people to you. So you no longer have to chase people. How many of you are watching right now are, you know, in Messenger every day, chasing people, that person's new, I haven't talked to them, making the list, right? And then going and dropping messages in their inbox, okay? That was me as well, okay? But here's the thing, those people have not asked for your information. They're not interested in, you know, your jewelry or your skincare or whatever, right? But when you brand yourself, Okay, and you lead with value and you lead with benefits, right? And you educate, okay? The people who are actively looking are going to raise their hand and come to you. And it's the most incredible freeing feeling in your business, okay? So the first step is to start branding yourself, all right? And that means you are going, your brand is you, okay? And it doesn't mean coming up with a catchy, uh, a catchy hashtag to drop at the end of your post, okay? But it means those things that I touched about, branding with you. How can I share what I'm doing in my content, okay, with others that show them who I am, okay? Uh, what is it that I stand for, okay? What is it that I do? All those things, right? And people, you start to grow a tribe of people who know, like, and trust you. And that's where I'm gonna go on step number two. So the first thing is to brand yourself. The second thing is to grow a network every day consistently. And it doesn't mean you have to go and friend 20 people every single day. This can be as little as three to five people, okay? 
because over time that compounds to a lot of new people that are in your network. Okay. Think about two to three people, three to five people over a course of 30 days, your network has grown. All right. And this is something, okay, that you are doing consistently every day, every month, all year. Okay. You've got to constantly grow that network so that you are getting in front of more people. A lot of the reason people are stuck is they run out of people to talk to because they're still talking to the same family and friends. Friends. Okay. I'm telling you, if you want your business to grow, you've got to go sit, sit at a table where you don't know anybody. Okay. And I don't mean literally. I mean, you have to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to connect with new people, okay? Outside of your friends and family. I built a personal six-figure business outside of my friends and family once I started implementing the strategy. I did not need my business to rely on whether or not my next door neighbor or my hairdresser or you know a friend I saw at a barbecue or an old high school friend is gonna be my customer or join my team. I built a team outside of that, or a business outside of friends and family, and you can too. And then here's the thing. Once I did that, guess who came creeping back? The friends and family that said no, right, originally, but they came back. And some might and some won't, might not, and that's okay, right? You move on, okay? But if you don't have new people coming in, you're going to lose people to talk to about your business. So number one is brand yourself. Number two is grow your network consistently every single day number three okay build the relationships with that network by using a simple social media strategy okay and that just means by posting value using your stories okay going doing a live video that's the number one way to build a relationship with your audience by the way so if you've been hiding saying, thinking and praying that I can build this massive business by just posting a picture or, you know, a GIF or whatever that looks like, you're wrong. You've got to put yourself out there, okay? Think about the people that you follow on social media, right? And their lives. You love listening to them. You can't wait for that live. You have it scheduled. You're not going to miss it or you watch the replay, right? Okay, because you feel like you can relate to them. You feel like you've known them even though you've never met them. That's how your followers are going to feel with you as well, okay? And you got to engage with others' posts, okay? Other people. So part of your time building the relationship is engaging on others. You've got to give love before you get love back, meaning you've got to go engage on, on uh, people's posts in their stories, which, by the way, is genius if you're going to engage in stories because that engagement takes you straight into Messenger, okay, um, which is great. What Facebook wants anyways, they want you building relationships and community, right, okay? So as you are leading and branding yourself, okay, that means that you are creating an ecosystem, and you're growing your network, you're friending people, you're bringing those people into your ecosystem, okay? What they're gonna see when they come in is your social media strategy, which rotates, okay? Monday is gonna be different than Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, right? So people are getting a well-rounded idea of who you are, okay? Which, by the way, in these posts, are posts about your product and your business, but they are lead, they lead with value and curiosity, okay, around the benefits because people want to know at the end of the day, what is your product going to do for me? Okay, when you're going online, okay, they don't care about your potion, motion, patent, berry, okay, your science ingredient. They want to know what's it going to do for me, okay, what's in it for me. So make it about them, okay. All right, number four, promote what you've got. So you're branding yourself, you're growing your network, you're building relationships with that network, okay? This creates like, know, and trust. Like, know, and trust equals influence, okay? When you have your following that likes you, knows you, trusts you, anytime you recommend something, which promote, okay? Recommend something, promote. People are like, man, I've been following Adrian 
for however long, she's always giving me value and golden nuggets. And now she's recommending this. I'm going to buy it. Okay. But you've got to do it in a non hypey non salesy way with curiosity, benefits, and a strong call to action. Okay. Don't just tell people about the goods and then not tell them what to do at the end. All right. So let them know. If, if this sounds like something you want in your life or you want these results or you've been looking into, right? Drop me a thumbs up emoji or whatever you want your call to action to be, right? And you'll see people start to do that. You are creating leads that now get you to the exposure process and whatever you're going to do after that, okay? So it helps you create an endless flow of leads anytime you want on social media and then you start putting excuse me, you start putting them into your process, your exposure process. So once people are like, okay, I'm interested, you're like, great, I'm gonna send you a private message. And you move in to the next exposure process of whatever your company has, you know, you doing, all right? So the next thing and the last thing is show up doing this cycle consistently, daily, and you will have a flood of leads to sift and sort through, okay? You can literally, anytime you're like, man, I'm running out of people to talk to. Oh, I'm gonna post about my product. I'm gonna post about the business side, whatever that looks like. And I'm gonna create new leads, okay? I'm gonna generate new leads and I'm gonna start my process all over again. And this is like a rinse and repeat, okay? But every single day, you are growing your network. You're building a relationship with that network. You're recommending, promoting to that network, right? And think about if you do that daily, okay? Because you're not always gonna post about your product, okay? But if you post, so let's give you an example, because some of you are probably like, well, we're not supposed to post about our product every day. I get that, okay? So if you have a rotation of topics, right? Your, your content stuff that you're going to be posting and you post something about your lifestyle, maybe like last Friday was my daughter's birthday. I posted something about her birthday, but in my stories, I might have something going on about my product or about the business side, right? I might have sent an email out to my list promoting something else, okay? So your posts don't always need to be about that, but look at other ways where you are, I'm still growing my network, I'm still building relationship because every day I'm going and I'm commenting on people's stuff. I'm engaging with people, right? Think about if you're going to do a Facebook Live, right? What's your call to action? What do you want your followers to do at the end, okay? Do you want them to join you on a challenge, get in your group, right? Whatever that looks like. So every day you are growing your network, building a relationship with that network, and you are promoting in a non hypey non-salesy way using curiosity, benefits, and a strong call to action, okay? But none of this works if you are not going to commit to being consistent because that is the name of the game here. All right. Consistent is the key to being successful on social media. OK, not just for the purpose of your following, but also for the purpose of the algorithm. If you want it to work in your favor, give you the most reach. OK, you got to show up every single day. Think about what your people are seeing in their newsfeed, how noisy it is. And if you're not showing up every day, they're going to start following somebody else, okay? And your people need you. They're waiting for you. They're out there, all right? So you just got to do the dang thing. So let me know if this was valuable to you. What was your aha moment, a big takeaway? I'd love to know. And if this resonated with you at all and you're like, man, I am so over this same list of people, family and friends. I'm ready to, you know, get my business moving in the right direction, okay? Using influence marketing strategies, then you're definitely going to want to grab the link, okay, that's above this video. So, go ahead and grab that link and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.